Now to the latest on that gruesome story out of New Orleans, Florida neighborhood. A dismembered body found in a deep freezer. Tuesday night, police arrested Benjamin Beal after he became a suspect in a missing persons case involving the woman he claimed was his girlfriend. J.D. Career has the latest on the case and the mysterious man at the center of it. Concerns of a neighbor. You know, he passed the house and we spoke and, you know, he's even came, sat on the porch and had pizza with everybody. Claims made in passing. I never really interacted with the guy. He was just kind of like just one of those regular dirty kids running around that had a bus, you know. Days after police say a dismembered body was found in his freezer, these were the only people willing to talk about Benjamin Beal on camera. Court documents show Beal, also known as Kelly Kirkpatrick, was being questioned for weeks about the location of Julia Dardar. Beal claimed Dardar was his girlfriend. In the process of the investigation, Police grew suspicious of Beale after a round of questioning that took place on January 5th and soon after obtained a search warrant. The documents show once in the home, they noticed an extension cord running from inside of Beale's home to a bus parked in the backyard. The extension cord ran into a deep freezer where a headless body was found. And even though investigators recovered Dardar's ID on the scene, they stopped short of saying whether it was her body. A look at Beale's Facebook page reveals he's lived in many places, but shows New Orleans as his current home. And according to a handful of people who didn't want to talk on camera, Beale has made his presence known around town. Artists and carriage drivers in front of Jackson Square say they would see Beale and his bus on Decatur. They suggested to check Latrobe Park near the French Market. People there say they saw Beale around but encouraged me to ask people near Checkpoint Charlie's on Esplanade. There, with a guitar on his back, someone told me he only knew people who knew Beale, but never personally interacted with him. The traveling musician thought I should go ask around Melba's Po' Boys. I showed a manager on duty Beale's Facebook profile. The manager said that Beale's picture looked familiar, and on an Instagram page which appears to be managed by Beale, not even a year ago, he was invited to do a pop-up at a local business called She Comes in Peace on Charters and Pauline right down the street from Beale's home, back where this all started. There clearly are more questions than answers, and certainly more people in town who may know both Beale and Dardar. And more of this story to unpack as the details come available. J.D. Career, Eyewitness News. At this point, Beale is not facing a murder charge, but a judge did set his bond at $400,000 for drug and gun charges.